And we begin with breaking news. And Governor Rick Scott, the winner of the governor's race, according to the Associated Press, the election once again coming down to South Florida. With the 99% of precincts reporting the governor with 48% and Charlie Chris with 47%. That's five and a half million ballots cast. Good evening, I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. And tonight, CBS4 brings you team coverage. Journalists fanned out across the state of Florida covering tonight's election. And we want to begin with CBS4's Carrie Codd, who joins us live from Governor Scott's campaign post in Bonita Springs, out on the west coast of the state. Carrie, what's the latest? Well, Rick and Eric, about 45 minutes ago, a wild cheer went up in this crowd, high-fiving, shouts of four more years. That is when, uh, right around the time that the Associated Press called this race for Governor Rick Scott, I did just speak to a member of Governor Scott's campaign team a short time ago. He told me that they are not ready at this point to call this race, to declare victory. They are still waiting for more information to come in. I asked if the Democratic challenger, Charlie Crist, had made a concession call to the governor. The person I spoke with said they did not believe that that had happened. I asked if there's any indication of when Governor Scott is going to come out and address this crowd of supporters that has been filling into this room since the rumors started going out and since the Associated Press called the race about 45 minutes ago. I was told there's still no ETA for Governor Scott to take the stage and address his supporters. We've been speaking with Republican leaders from Florida throughout the evening. They tell us that if these numbers hold up, and Governor Scott has about an 80,000 vote lead at this point, that it will be in their minds a validation of the governor's policies over the last four years, a focus on jobs, cutting taxes and the like. So of course we are just waiting now for some word from the campaign team of Governor Scott that he will be taking the stage here and addressing the crowd. And of course, as soon as he does, we will bring it to you. Live in Benita Springs, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Kerry.